we are all aware of the condition of Muslim countries in the Middle East. Syria, Palestine, Yemen, Iraq, Egypt, Libya are going through their hard times. They are suffering from great chaos. These countries were once part of the great Ottoman Empire. What if the Ottoman Empire never fell? Would the condition of the Middle East be better or worse? Can Ottomans be able to be the superpower of the world if it still existed? We'll look at it. 31 countries were formed by the division of the Ottoman Empire. Most of these countries were Sunni majority countries. Let's suppose the empire never fell apart nor it is expanded and all these 31 countries are still part of the empire. None of the countries in the Middle East that was once part of the Ottoman Empire except for Turkey is stable. They are somehow facing a leadership crisis. All these countries trying to put down their neighboring country. If the Ottoman Empire never fell, all of the Muslims especially the Sunni Muslims would be united under the flag of one caliph. Nowadays Muslims are portrayed as terrorists. They are not given the due respect they deserve. The reason for that is, Muslims are divided. Nationalism is overcoming religionism. There are organizations like OIC working to unite Muslims but all their effort going in vain because of nationalism. If Ottoman never fell, there will be a single Muslim empire. Other Muslim countries that are not part of the Ottoman Empire will follow the orders of the Ottoman Caliph, as in Islam it is obligatory to follow Caliph orders. Any rebellion should be dealt with the death penalty. In short, the condition of Muslims in Yemen, Palestine, Syria, etc. wouldn't be the same as it is now. Muslims wouldn't be suffered as they are suffering now. The maximum area captured by the Ottoman Empire was almost 2 million square kilometers. Despite being spread across three continents of the world area covered is much less compared to the area occupied by the current superpower United States of America which occupies an area of 10 million square kilometers. Though the area covered is less, the Ottoman Empire if existed today would be highly populated. Ottoman Empire would have an estimated population of 426 million. This suggests one square kilometer would be inhabited by 213 people while in the USA one square kilometer is resided by 32 people. The Middle East is full of natural resources especially crude oil. At the time when the Ottoman Empire fell, oil wasn't discovered in that area. Many of the countries included in the empire do have oil reserves and that would be the major source of income for the empire today. The nominal GDP of the Ottoman Empire is estimated to be 3.675 trillion US dollars. In 2020 United States has a GDP of 13 trillion US dollars, almost four times the GDP of the Ottoman Empire if existed today. Still, the Ottoman Empire would have the fourth largest economy after the US, China, and Japan. Historians predicted that if the Ottoman Empire still existed it would have the largest military in the world with almost 9 million active personals. Keeping in view the territory and population of the Ottoman Empire it would have a budget of $150 million. This budget is the third highest military budget obviously after the US and China. The Ottoman Empire if existed today would be a great military power, with an above average economy. Most importantly the condition of Muslims in the Middle East would be a lot more firm than it is now.